Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got the star card coming through. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, they're also showing up as the five of cups. So this person might be in mourning or, you know, mourning the loss of a loved one or mourning the loss of, you know, another relationship or, you know, a business investment that didn't work out. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's the loss of a loved one. All right. They, what they like about you is the full Aries energy. Lovely. And what else you need to know is the six of swords. So this is going to be a very healing connection probably for both of you. I feel like it's also wish fulfillment there with the star card. And we've got the seven of cups, which is my online dating card, but it can also indicate other involvements. Um, maybe you have a lot of options. Maybe they do. Maybe both of you are casually dating when you meet. So we've got the star card Aquarius energy coming through. So this person's definitely innovative. They're visionary. They've got this, this, this energy of uh, being like humanitarian, uh, like somebody who, who may work, like I don't know if they work as like a social worker or like in social justice. This is also somebody who's a dreamer. And I just get this like powerful energy of healing. Um, like you're gonna have a healing quality for this person or they're gonna, they're gonna help you heal from something. It does feel like they're on your path for a reason, all right? And they're definitely seeing a new beginning with you. You are their wish fulfillment or this person is your wish fulfillment. This is somebody who's definitely a dreamer. This is somebody who dreams their world into being. And with the Ten of Cups, this is somebody whose wish fulfillment is marriage, commitment, family, stability. This person's been dreaming of you, Sag. You're the person that they've been manifesting. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is something solid and secure. This is a beautiful new beginning. They're seeing that. They want something real. They want something tangible. You know, this is not somebody who's up for like playing games. I think they're going to be real open and honest. I just think this person's quite emotional, quite romantic, quite dreamy. And they've been dreaming of, you know, having this relationship Having, you know, having someone who's got their back, having someone that wants to build a future with them. Ooh, so I'm really liking this. All right, let's see. So your person is showing up as a father energy. So they may be your divine masculine. Um, they may have one or more children. So you may end up having a blended family or this person wants to have children with you. Remember, my readings are not gender specific. So take those messages as they resonate. This person may own their own business. They invest effort and creativity into their personal fulfillment and wealth. And they might have a little girl. Interesting. So this person very specifically might have a daughter um, or they've got a really close-knit relationship with their father. And I do see that this person may be in mourning. So it's a real strong indication here, Sag, that this person may have recently lost their father or their father uh, crossed over. So we see entrepreneur. So this person may be an entrepreneur. They work hard. They've invested in their future. For some of them, they have their own business. For some of you, they've taken over the family business. Okay. After their father has passed away again, very specific, specific message. It may not be for all of you. This person definitely with the five of cups is going to be, has experienced some sort of heartache or loss or disappointment when you meet them. How else will my Sagis be able to identify them, please? I feel like you're just going to make this person so happy. Like you're going to make, you're going to be such a breath of fresh air for this person. This person loves music. Nice. They're very mysterious. Okay. They've got that watery energy about them. And most likely they're very creative. Now they could be in their twenties. It's not going to be for all of you. And this person may be a gym rat. So they love to work out. They take good care of their health their fitness. How else will my Sagis be able to identify this person? They spend their money quickly. All right. They have an unusual hair feature. So that could be braids. It could be, you know, um, yeah, it really could be anything. Um, could be dreads for some of you. Not going to be for all of you. This person is vegetarian. 
All right, now I'm getting somebody who's really into reggae, like Rasta energy, but again, it's not for all of you. Um, they may be vegan or vegetarian, or it's really important to this person, like where they source their food. All right, there may be a three to five year age difference between you and them, and they may have three siblings, so it does look like they come from a large family. I'm also seeing the color green is going to be important to this person. So they could have green eyes or they like wearing the color green. And I know a lot of you are not going to, well, I don't know. There's a message coming through. I'm seeing, I don't know if they're going to be wearing a shirt that has like a marijuana leaf on it, or they have a wallet with a marijuana leaf on it or something like that. Again, it's not going to be for all of you, but it's coming through. Okay. And this person may wear jewelry. They wear more than two rings frequently. Okay, <clears throat> or maybe this person just likes to smoke. Again, that's I know that's not going to be for all of you. It's just a message coming through really strong. Um, all right, what else do my Sagittarius? I was just trying to get see if there were any other messages coming through because I got I got that message really really strong. Or maybe this person just really likes like you know likes reggae music, likes Bob Marley. Things like that, but it, uh, let's see if I can if I can move away from that because I know it's very specific and it's not for all of you. All right, let's see clear messages and guidance. I'm also getting to this person might like like really old ska bands as well. All right, um, so we get black, brown, light brown, blonde, or highlights as far as hair color, which is kind of everything. <laughs> they may have tattoos or nose piercings. All right. <laughs> and we've got this person is going to be fun, spontaneous. They're going to be exciting to be with. They have children. It's coming through. This person is already, already has children. All right. So from a previous connection. All right. Let's see what this person likes about you. We have the full card Aries energy. So they see you as being up for adventure. Um, they see you as like uh, spontaneous and fun. Um, they see this beautiful new beginning with you, all right, especially after a period of loss or an ending. So this person is definitely optimistic here. And I do feel this person may tell you that they've been either working with law of attraction to call someone just like you into their life, or maybe they've been trying to manifest you specifically. They love that you're reliable, you're dependable, you're hardworking, okay, that you're somebody that's stable, that especially if they have children, they're going to see that as a real positive quality. Wow, and they see you as the Queen of Wands, which is Sag Sagittarius energy in all of her glory. So a beautiful manifester. They love the way you dress, the way you the way you move. They love that you're very attractive, charismatic. They love your energy, and they also there's a there's a beautiful spirituality to this Queen of Wands in particular. But she's also very happy. She's large hearted. She's adventurous. And we see the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person's definitely going to be seeing the Ten of Cups with you pretty early on here. All right. So let's see what else this person loves about my Sagittarius, please. What else does this person love about my Sagittarius, please? Okay. They love that, ooh, you're showing up as a king, that you're enlightened, benevolent, that you're a leader. Again, the Queen of Wands is a CEO. She's a boss. She's successful in whatever she does and that you are good to those that you're in charge of or you benefit those in charge. So this person definitely admires you. They feel your force and your power. And we get father energy coming out twice. So that, you know, maybe some of my Saggies out there, your fathers or your mothers or you have children or they see that you would make a good parent to their child or that you could blend families or they like the fact that you're a parent or they see that you have those qualities for creating and supporting life. Life. And that you're a positive guiding light within a tribal unit. So again, maybe you, you know, you manage a team or maybe your family or, you know, whatever it is that you do. And they also love that you're spiritual. Yeah. I mean, I, I this feels really good, Sag. It's like this person I feel is quite picky about who they allow into their life. And they've been looking for someone that can match their energy. It feels like they've been trying to manifest you. I think they're probably going to tell you that. All right, so with the Six of Swords energy, there's going to be peace. There's going to be an energy of moving on within this connection. Okay, Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to this person, this connection. 
Okay, it's time to make a decision about this relationship. Okay, so there might be some big decisions here, maybe about moving, moving in together. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So just remember to prioritize the connection because Spirit's saying you can be completely open with this person. Wow. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see what else comes through. Clear messages and guidance from my Sagittarius. What else do they need to know about this person, about this connection? Give this person a chance. Give your relationship a chance, okay? Trust in divine timing. It's going to happen unexpectedly or through an, a serendipitous event. And Spirit's saying you have real romantic feelings that are absolutely worth exploring. And allow things to unfold naturally. Yes, I love that natural evolution. Okay, let's see if we can get any important dates for my Sagittarius, please. Clear messages and guidance for my Sagittarius, please. All right. November. Okay, so by November, you may know exactly who this person is. And we get September. Okay, so we're in the month of September. So between now and the end of the year, Feels like you'll know who this person is or there will be significant developments in this connection. All right, Sag, I'm sending you so much love and light. Sorry about the siren. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, um, if you're after a private reading, there are two ways to do that. You can go through my website, sirianatarot.com, or my Etsy shop. The links are down below, along with the links to the cards that I'm using and my TikTok and Instagram. All right, Sag, love you so much. Take care.